County woman got quite a surprise when her pre-booked seat on a United flight was given away for no other reason than she was a woman. Stacy Butler has the story you'll see only on CBS2. As a million mile flyer, this Coto de Casa mom thought she'd seen it all until a gate agent handed her a new boarding pass just before she got on a United flight to Houston last Monday. He said, this is your new seat. And I said, excuse me? And he said, I don't know how to tell you this. And so I said, yes. And he said, the two gentlemen sitting, seated next to you have cultural beliefs that prevent them from sitting next to, talking to, or communicating with females. Mary Campos was shocked. I thought I lived in a culture where females were equal to men. A senior consultant in the oil and gas industry, Campos had no choice but to take her new seat. That's when she wrote a letter to the CEO of United Airlines saying, what if I were handicapped or transgender? What if your entire flight crew were female? Any belief that prevents individuals from interacting with females should not travel on commercial aircraft. She got a reply that said United would look into it. She didn't hear from them again. But we did. Tonight, a United Airlines representative wrote, We regret that Ms. Campos was unhappy with the handling of the seat assignments on her flight. United holds our employees to the highest standards of professionalism and has zero tolerance for discrimination. Campos was told the men were Pakistani monks wearing orange long shirts. She says the female flight crew were not allowed to serve them. We can't discriminate against half of the population for a belief from another nation. Now, I asked Campos if she planned to sue United. She told me that's not her intention here. What she does want is United to apologize to the female flight crew, also the female passengers, and to change their policies. Now, she says if she doesn't get that, she'll do whatever she has to do to protect women's rights. Back to you guys in the studio.